Hey Leos and welcome to my channel. I'm here doing your daily love reading for Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. All right, Leos, what do you need to know in love today? All right, where you're at right now, Leos, is the Eight of Wands. So um, you could have a lot of fast communication coming in, emails, messages. Um, this is bringing you some hope I'm feeling. In the near future, you have the Three of Cups. The possibility of other people being in your relationship, unfortunately, is what I'm seeing. But there is there is hope here. There is celebrate there is the potential for celebration. Alright. So a a love offer is what you feel like this person's blocking you for some reason is what I'm getting. Spirit's advice for you is the five of wands. The outcome. is the moon card. This is the back side of the moon. This is the front. It would be like the moon in reverse. Got an eclipse energy to it. Bottom of the deck. Oh, and what you don't know is the five or the seven of swords. Clarifying that is the Two of Swords with the Four of Pentacles. Okay. Leo's Leo's. So, you could be um, communicating back and forth with somebody. It could be an Aries Leo Sagittarius, um, Heavy Sagittarius with the Eight of Wands for me. But... You could be a part of a third party. You could be the third party, um, Leos. And you feel this block is the Knight of Cups. Like, they're not offering you this love because there is competition. Um, Spirit's advice is to pick your battles. To, um, to know when to walk away is what I'm hearing. The outcome is enlightenment look at how she's holding the star in her hand so secrets are going to come out things that have been done in the dark are going to be brought to light um and it's going to give you um you see the two towers in the center there it's going to almost give you the power to heal um by the truth being exposed by the truth coming out um because what you don't know is there is a lot of sneaky behavior and they could have already made a choice. They just haven't told you yet. Because look at the front side of the moon. They could be choosing to stay where they're at. Um, because they have built something where they are. But they're, it's like they're almost not telling you. Because it's going to come out in the outcome. But what you don't know is that seven of swords. So... Let's see what this Eight of Wands is all about. Why does Leo have this Eight of Wands? Eight of Wands with Leo. Way too many. Thank you. Yeah, the Star card. So communicating um, with this person is going to bring you some healing. Could be dealing with an Aquarius, but it's going to put you into a place that you need to be. This all has to happen in order for you to be where you're meant to be to receive your wishes coming true. You could be opening up communication to this person, what you're wanting to, um, where you're wanting this relationship to go, what you're wanting to happen. Um, you could be doing some, you know, s snooping, spying, 
um, and dig up a third party. You possibly do not know that there is a third party at this time, but in the future, you are going to find some information or somebody's going to tell you something. Um, and now you feel that this block to the two of you moving forward is they're not making they're not making you the love offer that you want whoops this is my cups here Ace of Wands, yeah. So you're wanting this new beginning. You're wanting to move forward. You're wanting to give them that cup of love. You're wanting to get it. But it's like it's it's being stopped. They're very combative. They're very they're fighting this, you know, moving in this direction with you. They could have a lot, there could be a lot of competition. There could be a lot. This person could have a lot of choices because you have the five at the bottom and um and your next card out. So you could be um, bickering and arguing with this person. Yeah, and it's it's there's a lot of heartache here, a lot of sadness. Um, that's why I'm saying pick your battles because sometimes it, it's possibly better just to walk away, unfortunately, um, Leos. You're just really wanting something reasonable. Like, this isn't too much to ask for somebody. Just give me your cup and not to other people. You know, like, you're... You just want something reliable and somebody who, you know, somebody who won't take you for granted or or break your heart in the meantime. Um, I do feel that either you're cutting somebody off or somebody's cutting you off um, and walking away. I don't feel it's forever, however, um, just because there's a lot of conflict in this relationship right now and... And you just feel like you have to walk away or they feel they have to walk away. Why is the moon here as the outcome? But like I said, everything's coming to light for you, Leos. Um, yeah, and I do feel one of you is walking away. This is um, coming to an end. Um, I, could, I do feel that you guys are with a karmic partner you're kind of having a, a reality check around you know the 17th or 18th trying to figure out what this what this all is like what have I been doing for the last year year and a half of my life you know have I been wasting my time really on this situation when they're still not still not being up front with me but what's done in the dark will come to light and it will almost give you like I said that healing um, that the ability to move forward, putting this to rest and finding that healing energy um, because you're dealing with something that's very toxic, very karmic. Uh, like I was saying, this person does not have your best interests at heart, unfortunately, Leos. Um, this is this is just nasty energy. Like they don't care who they hurt as long as they get what they want. There could be some addictions here. Um, so there could be some lying and, and stealing. Um, there could be a sex addiction here where they just have to have sex no matter what. Like there's something that's very um, heavy here. But I feel you already know about this. It's not something new, but you thought they were coming in your direction. You thought this was, they were healing. You thought this was moving along. Um... And you've been very patient, waiting for them to make a decision. But I feel they've made a decision and not necessarily told you about it, Leos. And remember, this can go vice versa. Somebody's made a decision and is turning their back on the other um, and going to start um, investing in um, something different and turning their back on this connection because they feel they have built something elsewhere they have they already put the work into their empire and they're having a hard time letting go of that so if they're married they're refusing to let go of this out of fear um they don't want to lose what they have worked so hard on so they're allowing the death of this relationship to happen instead of releasing what 
what no longer suits them or serves their highest good. Um, bottom of the deck again, well, um, a lot of fear. They re they fear releasing this. They There's a lot of um, toxicity, a lot of deception, a lot of secrets here. Um, and it's like they don't want to let go of that addiction. They don't want to let go of that toxicity. They don't want to quit what they're doing is what I'm feeling. But they left you waiting and didn't tell you that they made the decision to stay. But I do feel in the near future, you are finding out that. You are bringing to light this third party. Um, and by the truth coming out, it's going to allow you to release this and move forward um, towards something that, that is going to be better suited for you. Like I said, I feel you're cutting somebody off or vice versa. Even though it breaks your heart, you just cannot handle the conflict anymore. There's a lot of conflict in this relationship. What's Leo's advice? All right. The Rainbow Prince. Compensation and perseverance. So it's saying, you know, not to give up. Not to quit believing in what you want, but to have that self-worth, to have that value within yourself that won't put up with this energy or this energy. Um, to know that you deserve better than what's about to come out in the open. I don't feel you you know this, but not necessarily know this. Um, it's a weird, I don't know exactly how to explain it, but... As there's a pot of gold at the rainbow, you will have, you know, that that gift, that blessing by by following your own inner light, by following, um, by going within and and finding that value and that worth, and no longer putting up with this type of energy will move you to a new cycle. It will move you to a new, um, a new place where you can really invest in your future, and and get the blessings that you truly deserve instead of this conflict and heartache because you deserve much more than that, um, Leos. You are going to move to a place of healing after this, however. Um, and by you speaking your mind and telling this person exactly how you feel and what you think is going to bring you in healing in a way as well. So, all right, Leo, I hope that resonated with absolutely none of you because this is a very difficult energy, um, a difficult situation that that this group of people is going with or going through, but just know that by this coming out, by you figuring this out, it is going to bring you that, that inner light and that healing. Um, you're going to be able to eclipse out any person, place, or thing that no longer suits you, serves your highest good, and you're going to be able to move to a better place um, emotionally and within a relationship. So, all right, guys, I send you all my healing, love, and light. God bless.